We have 33 species of birds on display for the public to see. Last year, we set a record year. We admitted 834 birds. Well, that's just a fraction of the raptors that live in North Carolina. So we have to do a better job of telling the public what to do if we really want to help them. And that's the big community part, is how do we get the community to realize it's not just a cool hawk they see up there. That cool hawk, if it's not there, at some point will have a direct effect to our lives too. We see anywhere from 37 to 40,000 visitors a year. We've got Itolimi, has sharp talons it uses to catch its food, and has a sharp curved beak. So those are the three things that make raptors unique and special from all other different types of birds or animals. With our vet who's been here almost four years, we've really been able to do a great job with releases. Birds are staying in the hospital about 30 days and we're releasing close to 70%. He's got a, what we call a segmental fracture. So this centerpiece, that should connect there and that should connect there, very long and jagged. He's um, been outside just cage wrestling now and Carly just went to grab him to do another physical therapy session. This is an adult red tail hawk. You can tell his tail is actually red. They get their full red tail after their first molt, so after their first year. I feel a, a jagged edge. Is that normal? He does have a little spike. Okay, yeah. This was a fracture. I feel right. a few spikes. Oh, yeah, there's one ventral there. Is that one? Yeah, and then up here. Yeah, that's Near the, the one that you can see on the x-ray. Yeah. Oh, not bad, though, huh? Mm -mm. That's cool. So they're going to PT him, and hopefully that'll go okay, and then he'll be uh, one more step towards getting out of here, which is always the goal.